because I'm going to be nice like that. We get to see more of the battle. That's what you want to see. I know you do. You don't want to see Markaji's horrid face. As you can see, definitely a diff different defense. Oh, there we go. We're all leaving the battle again. Yeah, we're going to have to reset. Why does it happen with Eden? And why did my battles go so smoothly last time around? How did it go so smoothly when I was in charge? But when these guys are in charge of each other, battles never get set up or planned properly. Like, we, sh we should be finished these battles by now. <laughs> we should probably be finished by now. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> no idea what's going on. <laughs> we'll wait and see. Definitely have to get another one set up. When I set them up, I swear though, like, nobody complained, no nothing, nobody got crashed out. Who's trying Who's trying to DDoS who, guys? Look, now, look, what you, look what you did to my screen. You've ruined my game. You guys have ruined my game. Now I'm, now I'm falling through the world. Oh, where am I? Where am I, boys? Oh, I'm falling. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, da 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 Wee! <laughs> Wee. Clowns versus Eden join battle. Let's do this. Oh, I fucking wrong password because I'm an idiot. Let me let me get this underway. Boom. There we go. Get me in there. It's just cease because oh, is it secrets? Is it that keeps getting disconnected? Ghost decks, is it? Ghost decks. Madness. Madness. Right, tempo, chuck me in there. We got like we said last time around, same idea, guys. Keshiks were banned, Falcon 80 gunners were banned. Same again. We have 33,000 uh, points voted here for Wearclans after their first performance. Eden with only 5,000 points. So if Eden win this, whoever's put the points on Eden will have a nice sum. We have five minutes left to predict, guys. Only five people so far have voted for Eden. Nine people on the side of Wearclans. Get yourself some channel points. Put some channel points in there, guys. Risk it all. Or not risk all of it. Just some of it. Just some of it, boys. 5k versus 33k channel points here. So if you win on Eden's side, you get, you get a good chunk back. You get a good chunk back. But, however, you could be risking it. And putting it onto wear clans and getting a smaller amount, but you'll get some money. <laughs> you'll win some back. Okay, so the match hopefully this time plays out well. Let's hope for the best. We are good to go. We will be good to go, guys. Thank you for coming into the chat, coming into the view, and coming to watch CB Rivals. This is only week one, and so far, this is a massive turnout, guys. We're loving to see you guys here. CB will be very, very happy as the organizer, and as the games go on like this, if we're getting a view count like this, and we're getting so much coming into the chat, coming into speak, coming to watch these battles, it is going to be so good for the tournament and for the CB community and is to build on something like this, this format, this league format. It's going to be a really interesting few weeks uh, to see how it all pans out. Lots of games being played every Sunday. So good luck uh, to any of you guys if you're taking part as well. Um, it's definitely going to be some fun fun games and some practice and some learning, learning things as well here. As you can see, defense is all on A here. Eden have everybody at A. I think they might be doing the strategy of just leaving A and B and not defending that one bit. So we'll wait and see what happens here. We're not all pushing as well. So when it comes to the attack, you've got some malls, you've got some short swords in there. Obviously Amia and Essex, uh, Essex is with the short, uh, the dual blades. And then you've got a couple of pikes on the other side, a couple of muskets. Ghost X still with his trusted spear, a few short swords and a few moles. Time for me to join the winning side, Tristy. <laughs> okay, let's get this underway. Here we go. We are starting out with Balthazar. We'll have a look at the defense strategies here. First of all, we're going to go up into the sky. Do, 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 do. So, 
Eden are straight on to the cannons, straight on to the Hawatches, straight on to every single piece of artillery they can get because it's the only artillery in the game that you are allowed to use. No artillery to be used throughout the battles. So it's definitely a different strategy than you would be playing in the CBL and a different strategy than you'd be normally playing in sieges here. You've got a few boys coming from uh, the attack inside where Clans will be pushing to straight up to B because there is no defense, there is no nobody taking down that bridge. So they'll just go get a free B cap here and the guys that have uh, Eden will try to take down the siege towers as quickly as they can before they're pushed. But like we said, as this point, because they're getting a free B, means they can get their units there, they can come straight down and go straight somewhere else and come straight to A without even having to worry about siege towers at the point. So it's not the same way as it was with Black Army and Slavs. It's a little bit different strategy here um, from Eden. Eden are now retreating from A. You see that wall about to come down. We're at 24%. At, yeah, 24% here. What I can do here is move this a little bit down here. There we go. And, oh, Chad Piper. Oh, Chad Piper. I'm sorry there, guys. I was in the world of my own. So A is now getting captured here as well. So Dunko, you've got Ghost X. And Amu, uh, the Ghost X pushing up here towards Amu. Very, very wise decision to do that, especially as a, as a medium armor against Amu. He's a very difficult person to deal with, um, especially if you're a medium armor class. Definitely a difficult position to get yourself into. So, obviously, they've got a free take of A and B pretty much. There wasn't really any siege towers taken down. They didn't push them, so there was no need to take them down too quickly, which then means they grab B, get the points onto it. And then they grab A free of charge as well. So and then now they can push the siege towers up and get the defensive systems up here. So as you can see, both siege towers, all three siege towers will reach the wall in no time. They'll have the units all ready here, ready to kind of push from there. And then you've got Eden guys all kind of prepping to set up wherever they're going. They've got some Jav sergeants down there from the Lama. Um, just trying to deal some extra damage to units that are already up here because they still have to go quite a distance back to a supply point. So any damage you can potentially put on at the start will help it the defense uh, 100%. Whereas the guys in Werklands have a nice solid positioning here with units up on this right hand side out of reach from any units or anything to hit it. For now until they start forming together and getting the units that they need together is their death ball. You're also leaving units on this wall over here, as you can see, Chad Piper, Eldiff, Silver Ox, keeping units there as well, which is great because it means if Eden fully put rotate towards one direction, these guys can come from the back, start taking the units out, or even go for a, a cap somewhere else. But Lama the Craze picked up on that. He's coming up to see, to scan, to see what's up there. That's all Lama's doing there just now. He's just doing a wee scan. You can see him jumping on his horse to scan what's going on. You've got Amia trying to push out, Essex looking for like sneaky way back aways in to try and get some hero kills, or even trying to scan out to see what's in the background. Just just, just doing a dual blaze kind of job, he's just staying invisible, sneaking around the map, seeing what he needs to do. Um, Breach is down as well, and the guys on the right hand side. We have, where clans have 12 minutes, just under 12 minutes here, to, to make a move towards C, to try and look at the best opportunity in the prime time to attack. They're not going to get stuck in one position because they have got their self split up on both sides. They've got the side wall here. They've got units coming through the breach. They also have people coming from the right hand side. So it's definitely, definitely a different strat to how Eden went about it. And uh, we'll be interesting to see where we go from there. As you can see, you've got units down here, palace guards, just sitting there. Quite a strong, solid unit there to kind of hold out and to stop about, so Flynn's just moving them about. You've also got grey hairs in the back, but the units of IPGs move back up the wall to, to stop them taking too much damage from the Jav Sergeants. With the change of Jav Sergeants as well, they definitely have a lot more damage um, than they did have previously. And if you have all them doctrines on it, there's a fair few throws that you can get on them. Dunkel thrown in at the pre-treb here, trying to take out some units. Iron Reapers are moving there, but the treb will maybe miss them. Oh yeah, it just misses the units there. 
think it might have taken out a couple of palace guards, but nothing major. But it's a big swarm of push now. They timed that to perfection. Right hand side, center, and left hand side all pushing together as one. And as you can see, Eden are having to make a decision here. Do they hold the supply point and hold the whole C point, or do they get units split up? Some players from Origin here and Wear Clowns trying to pay attention to what's going on in the background here. And a, a nice split here from both teams. As you can see, we'll keep a, a kind of high view, view here because there is two attacks going on at once and we don't want to be missing any of it. Center starts moving in onto the point. You've got a charge in there of palace guards that are going to go into the brace here where the push goes in on the supply point. They have to do this coordinated. They need to pre-treb things. And the treb comes in nicely, takes out some of the IPGs, but not much as Mixu goes down. Temple Shot is down. Chad Pipes is down as well, but there goes Zenga, Morty, Eldif, a couple of uh, the push from the attack goes down, but there are still heroes alive, more heroes on this side here on the C point inside of uh, Weir Clans, but Eden now can rotate from the supply point with their units and their heroes, so there's going to be a definite push here. Heroes are on a point for Weir Clans, they need to get a few units off of the point to start capping a little second. Even if they get a few fit seconds on that point, but they're not going to grab any of it. That was a good push there from Eden. Eden managed to push them out. Killed a few of the heroes and definitely made a difference there. We are down to... It's 12-11. It's still quite close with heroes, so actually. I'm quite surprised. It's the units that are alive from Eden that's making the difference here. But if the heroes can stay alive for long enough to get a few trebs in to take out a lot of these units, the push that comes in next will be decisive. Temple Shot is going there and capping the back supply point. Winkrow is getting taken from behind from War Forfu, but a lot of the boys are rotating in. Wear Clowns rotating all their heroes straight into the supply point as quickly as they can. Pre-treb in the stairwell, as you can see there as well, as they pushed off of C. It's a good push. Good treb as well. Units will be falling there. Good set of units. There's a good set of units on the attack here to grab this supply point. Not many in defense. It's just some palace guards. Fort Brash was trying to come around the back here as well. But here comes an Armager charge. That goes that gets wiped straight out from the Grey Hairs pretty much. But a lot of heroes there trying to stop the cap of the supply point. Ghost X picks up Mix You. But there's a lot of blue on that supply point. Ghost X trying to sneak in there on the back, trying to wipe out units, but he falls to his death. Capping of the supply point is happening. Modal is moving forward. And as you can see down here, Zenga trying to put up a fight at all, but he is fighting against Modal. As Kebab will fall. Zenga is so close to death, but manages to escape. Palace Guard still fighting it, or Zenga kills somebody. But C is being capped by Dunkel. He's got a unit going on to the point as well, and Zenga is going to try and defend that. But the supply point falls from Eden. Eden loses the supply point and they're also losing numbers at this point in time. Eden and the defense down to nine in defense, 13 on the attack. They're leaving the C point and pushing forward. One person is going to pick that up. Mixu picks that up. Well, everybody goes from the supply point straight to home cap, trying to get the units there on point. We'll move forward towards Zinc uh, Winkrow here as they try to pick up some units and kill some Javelin Sergeants here. Javelin Sergeants Oh, Madison comes down, but here comes units coming around the back from Eden. C will get taken for sure. Ghost deck falls to Temple Shot. Morty dies as well. Amya is out of the battle for now, but it's definitely a good fight here. We're down to 13 and 14, so we're still quite close in numbers. And we're clowns with the units all prepped and ready to go. They're all kind of setting up on this far right hand side. See, just about to give them extra few minutes here on the point. We are now up to 10 minutes. That is a, that's a good push there from uh, Eden, but then they managed to get it taken from them. Um, we're clowns now re resetting themselves for this final home point push with their normal. Normally, normally they would be grape shotting for days when it comes to this home point. And this is what Origin and this is what uh, these guys would definitely do as soon as they get to this home point. But with no artillery, it's going to be a different strategy. As you can see, they're doing the bait and switch. They're moving from side to side here. Where clowns just trying to try and bait out any potential defense movements. And then there comes this pre treb thinking, oh, you know what, they're going to move that way because we're going to pretend to go this way and they're going to come back in. The treb comes in. It's going to hit a fair few units, but it just misses that one treb. 
hit a couple of units, but we are out of it. Now they're going to bait to go straight down the center. Are they going to go? Are they going to going to bait them back again? Yeah, they just bait them once again. Where clans are very good at that. They they're very good at that. This is what Eden would do as well. They'd go back and forward. It's sick is sick is sick is sick is okay sick is sorry I don't, I don't know I don't, it's Essex kids that's what it is to me. <laughs> so Treb coming in the very very back to the, the retreating units. There goes some IPGs getting hit in the background. Some modals getting hit in the back here as well. That was a good Treb because the baits back and forward. That's the only thing they've got in terms of artillery is the five Trebs. So they're using them, trying to bait as many units into it as possible by going back and forward and it's working there goes another trap it's about to hit in just two seconds Madshin is in the way them ipgs and javelin sergeants are going to get a couple of units lost out of it but that's all they're doing they're whittling down the units with the trebs 728 on the defense 685 or 682 on the attack oh no on the defense sorry 682 on the defense so they've still got more in terms of units, it depends on the quality of units that they have. You still see all purples and golds, Gabar, the Zykele Militia, and all purples and golds, bar the Namcans from Amya on the point. Just bait and switch from Weir Clans. Just bait and switch. Just constantly back and forward. Heroes running back and forward, bringing their units, but not trying to get them too far away from them. There goes another Treb. Will the Treb hit that nice swarm of units there. As you can see, they're still clumped up there. They're all going to start moving there, and that treb is just about to hit as the unit's falling back. They're starting to cap. Ami is on point capping, grabbing a few extra seconds there as he can. And there goes the push. Now they've only got three trebs left. Now they want to be trebbing the top stairs. Yep, and there goes Javamil with the top trebs stush as they start pushing into the point. Splitting themselves out so they're not all clustered up so they can hit it in from multiple angles here. And there goes a wee... IPG march, Trebs coming in, taking out some units there. It's a nice position and they're, break, they're defending the back point here. Wink Road goes down, but there's a couple of IPG marches from Eden as it pushes out all of the units from Weir Clans. But the Treb will be coming in as the Eden guys start to retreat here. So that is going to be crucial. How many boys are going to get caught up in this Treb? For a brash or hit in the back, that is a fantastic Treb, that one there. That definitely does do a good work. On Ghost X picks up Chad Piper. We've got a lot of units trying to set up now. Weir Clans have the units set up on point. Now it's all about whether they can get the heroes off of the point. Weir Clans start to the cap. I'm up here trying to take people up on the supply point. But there is only two heroes near the point on defense from Eden. Matix is out. Vasectomy is trying to hold off as long as he can. Overnight jumps on the point as well, but he's a musket, so he will probably fall quicker than Overnight did. Magnar, also a musket player, just got Polax off of the point. Hydra and General Reap both getting hit, but it looks like there's so many units from Weir Clans on the point here. There is nothing in terms of units that Eden can bring on the point. They are getting stopped by all the units there. Lamb of the Cray holding off. Nemo, the last man alive, available to stop any cap here at this point in time, but he falls. Elmia dies to General Reap. Hydra jumps on from nowhere. Last guys on the point. They're trying to come in here. We got some Keshiks or end. No, we don't even have Keshiks. We can't even use Keshiks. Winkrow. Oh, that's it. Actual is going to fall. Ghost X falls before Actual. Those are short start surviving as long as he can. But it is one second from cap. And that is it. It's over. It is GG for Wear Clowns. Wear Clowns picking up a solid attack. Winkrow, two on top again. MVP. Jabimo in second there. How do we... Zika's with uh, seven hero kills once again. That's two battles in a row where he's had picked up seven hero kills. He's done a great job. Amir with three this time. But boys have done a great job on the attack. They were baiting and switching that treb every single time. Got a few good hits with the treb. Then chose the right opportunity to kind of push because they had the unit advantage. They had units in top, tip, uh, in top of form ready to push the point and kind of secure the point. 